Alright. Time to see if this will work. Should do. Oh yeah. Keep an eye on the stream on my phone. Just in case. Oh yeah, there we go. It's working! Awesome. And hopefully people can see that cursor of mine. Quickly check the options just because. Wow, great options. <coughs> I suppose there's enough there. Okay! Oh crap, hold on. Um, start recording. Yes. <laughs> God, don't break the stream, please. Yeah, there we go, awesome. Right. Great, so you can watch it on YouTube later. Hooray! Oh, right. Oh, man. <coughs> I'm going to need this water. For we are playing an RTS called The Hive. And according to the developer, it is a... Um... Story-driven RTS. I'm not entirely sure what that means exactly, but we're going to give it a go nonetheless. Before we start, I've just got to mention that this game was given to me for free by the developer. And I'm hoping for their sake it's good. New game. Okay. Normal, hard, survival, or insanity. I guess we'll go on normal because I'm not very good at RTS. And I've not looked at this game at all. I'm just going in it completely blind. Hopefully we'll get a tutorial of some type. We thought we wielded the power of the gods. Oh, really now? We thought we were immortal. We were wrong. First came the reign of fire. And it was only the harbinger of a greater threat. Our technology was useless. Oh yes, I bet it was. For the first time in history, the Earth was united for a common goal. For survival. The construction of a massive colony ship began. The only hope for our future. Sacrifices were unavoidable. Only the sharpest and strongest of people could be chosen for the journey. The task took no less than three years, yet the inevitable impact was already near. I'm half expecting Johnson to show up and start, in um... Ordering some marines around. You can only watch as billions of lives vanished in the blink of an eye. The earth was swallowed in flames. Tragic. The search for a new home began. A search that would take a human lifetime. Most of the people were preserved in cryogenic sleep to wait for our new reign. But finally, our long journey came to an end. We arrived at the edge of a Looks like an airbrush. System. Within it, we found the new Eden. <coughs> Oh dear. Is that the, the planet from Rayman 3? And sandstorms raged on the planet's surface. It's the desert of the Canaran. And the survival of the strongest of species. But deep underground, sleeping in the city Past of the ages, bed, right? there were fountains teeming with new life. And there, a new species awoken to explore the unknown world. It's looking a bit like a rock raiders. Hive! Okay. My understanding of this was that you didn't actually play as any human, so... <coughs> Pardon me. I do question the significance of that beginning cutscene, but... Um, hopefully we shall find out. I, I'm really hoping this game runs well. Oh, and yeah, it's running fine. Look at that. Oh, it doesn't look half bad either. Oh, the age thereof. I didn't turn anti alias none in the settings just so uh, the game would definitely be smooth. Also, because I forgot to do it. <laughs> but don't tell, tell anybody that. There's a bird flying overhead. Can you see it? Why well, have I got three shadows? Alright, calm down. So we've got our worker, so it's been like total annihilation. What do I do? But, ah, right, okay, B. B. 
Hotkeys? Hotkeys. Alright, the hotkey seems really uh, sensitive. Hive! Let's build us a hive. Oh, so you do actually send workers to get food and stuff. Fair enough. Oh, I thought he pooped on the ground then, but he's just dug. Okay. This is uh, pretty standard thus far. Nice. <laughs> Who needs building animations, eh? Oh, have we got a new unit already? Food to thrive. What have you been doing up until this point? What's this? Alright, so worker must go and poke the... the gecko. Have at thee! These things do not look like they should be bleeding bright red blood. Look at them shadows, eh? Oh, it seems to be pooping stuff out. Oh, is that like the collector? Huh. Spawn three workers. Oh, we need ten food and that's down here. Okay. Hang on. So is this guy significant at all? Because the food's going up. What does the Hive Queen do? Oh, is that like a special unit? Or what? Ah, we can set a rally point. I guess I should set the rally for the food. And then they can all be gathering it. So is this, um... Oh man, there's a lot of food on this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really should have put a jumper and it's freezing down here. Um, I haven't built three workers yet. Calm down. I will build four just to spite everybody. What's this? Minerals. So we've got food, minerals, population and DNA. Is this a resource? Oh, they don't actually work the... Oh, can only one of them gather food at once? Oh, fair enough. Can only one of them fish? Right, understood. So these workers are a little bit, um... Puny. A hundred minerals. I will build the barracks over here, next to the thingy. I'm wondering, do these things, um... In Age of Empires, Right, if you kill a boar or a sheep, if you leave it without doing it, or well, in, in general it just loses uh, food value over time, um, no matter what you do. So the best way to do it is have m as many people working it as possible, and then, um, that's not much, there's much of a problem. I'm guessing that's not the case here, because you can only have one thing working, one thing at once. Barracks! Legion or Hunter? Legionnaire, sorry. Light melee unit, light ranged unit. Do we not get any stats for these things? In fact, do the workers have stats? Yeah, attack and defense. Okay, so there's no... Um, there's no stab, there's no... Uh, I'm trying to think what, this, what the things in AOA 2 were. Um, so this is a, a pretty simplified RTS, which I suppose is uh, not a bad thing. Like I said, I suck at RTS, so... Simplicity is good. Oh, you can actually like move the camera around. Interesting. Oh, you get three per. Oh, it's like a unit of three. Awesome. These things look pretty cool. Kind of blocky, but cool. Right. Spawn one squad. Ah, right. I've done it already. Hooray! I'm good at this game. Ooh, located near the catacombs, eh? Ooh. Get him lit. I wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention. Light the catacomb... Cum, 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 cum. I've never known how to pronounce that word. I think it's catacomb. 
But I'm probably wrong. Let's queue up some more units in case we lose these boys. You can get some digging done, you beggar. Set these to a hotkey. Yeah, you can do hotkeys, it just doesn't tell you what they are. What's this? Huh? I'm assuming we will know what that means later on. So where's where's our objective? Is it down here? Oh, do we need to literally go up and pull the levers? Oh no, I just click on it. <laughs> Alright then. Be gone! Uh, what? Well, they're, they're on the way. They move pretty quickly. There's no formation. From hell's heart I stab at thee! Oh, they've got, like, ranged. Oh yeah, of course. Because they were the light ranged unit. Can these guys not be damaged unless... Oh, loot! This guy's pretty weak, isn't he? Ooh, he's melted in a pool of blood. Oh, that's great, isn't it? They're actually attacking during the cutscene. More loot. Okay. Great. <laughs> so these guys are getting getting their asses handed. Well, this guy is. Oh, hang on. I'm confused. Brilliant. So one of my units is actually dead. Leather. Oh, do you automatically pick up the loot? If I stick and move, then I should be able to take this guy down. Can I can I game the AI? No, this is not this is no RuneScape. Uh, go and grab my other units. Go and bring them along to uh, deal. If I lure this guy out, then I should be able to, um... Here they go. Can I not rotate the camera? Awesome. Pick up your key. Oh, is that, is that a key in there? Oh, it was in there. Uh... Mamtath Pelt. I have acquired loot. Is it in the box? Uh, do, do I seriously need a worker to come down here and open this crate? Oh well, come on, let's. Oh, I just made a hive queen. Whoops. Uh, the hell was that noise? Oh, there's another. There's a spare worker there anyway. It's fine. I will bring him down to gather the key. I assume this is the thing that he's doing by him. Wee. What's this? Oh, it's a turtle. Turtle with a massive tail. Sure. Water looks really nice. Hmm. Let's not dwell too much on that shadow, eh? Guess I haven't got the graphics on like the highest settings, so you know. Wow, he just shoved them all out of the way. He literally needs to open the crate for them. A ring! Huh? Am I missing something here? Where's the key? Have I got it? Ring of the Corrupted Host. Oh dear. Equip. Equip onto the worker, okay. Can you like, equip? So it's got a bit of RPG-ness to it. So if, if my guys go into this sort of... Oh, it doesn't show you the radius. Ah, I've got a Hive Queen. What does she do exactly? Oh, I had the key! It's just... A crank. These guys aren't very smart, are they? Huh, okay. T 
tread carefully. Yes. Thank you. I suppose I should. Um. Where's m where's my queen? Where? Right, you can see this large circle. I'm, I'm, do they heal while they're in the circle? I'm, I'm, oh, it looks like it, yeah. I do note that half the number is covered up by the little icon there, which is pretty poor. Where's my queen gone? She, she was there a minute ago. And now she's disappeared. And there's no... There's no go to idle units button. Oh, she's right there. Merges in with this thing a little bit. Okay. Go, go. I shall queue up some more units just to uh, group up there. Alright. Let's move. Let's motivate. Oh. Them. <laughs> They've all got that same idle animation. <laughs> right, well, we've already established that the game doesn't stop. Ah. Ah. Okay. This, this person can uh, spawn units in. Uh. And it takes a little while for the units to actually spawn, okay. Good thing I've got some guys queued up over here. Come on, this is unit two. My queen's dead! Oh, balls. He's eating all the minerals, which means we need to go and acquire more food. He's eating all the food. Ah, there's some fish there. In the meantime, the battle rages on and I can still hear it. Uh. Oh, that's alright, yeah. That's good. Uh, crap. <laughs> Bring them down! Attack the one guy. Should be able to take him out fairly easily. Hit the guy with no health. Very good. I really hope you can't see my steam thing, because that will be stupid. I like how eloquent it is. It doesn't say mission 8. It says 8th mission. Oh, sorry, it just says 8 mission. I apologise. Ah, got some more boys. We should be able to take this last guy down. My units are really squishy. I, mean, I guess they are bugs, but come on. These guys are pretty spongy. And my guys are pretty squishy. Let's have some mobiles. And it takes a while to, for, for a decent amount of food to come in. Um, I can make more workers, though. But uh, it's just kind of hard to tell exactly like where the fish is. Like, this whole pond's full of fish, but yet you can only fish this spot. Hmm... Bring him down! Hmm. Oh, there's a loot box there. Hang on. Sorry, a chest. That is the correct term, I am uh, led to believe. I'll group up a little bit. Have some more hunters. The legions seem to do a little bit more damage. <laughs> But it's good to have a mix. Fruit! Acquire ye fruit! What does ye fruit do? This fruit tastes delicious. Great, okay. Just what I needed to know. Birds. Birds don't seem to do a whole lot. Uh, trying to find more food sources. Can you have, like, renewable food? Worker den. Turret. Barracks. Hive. Oh. No, it doesn't appear to be... Unless I need to build this thing first. 
and then it will give me access to farms. Building things seems to consume the worker as well. I've just I've just realised because they dig and then they sort of thing bring the thing up from beneath them. Uh, right. I need to kill these guardians. Oh, I've got tons of food. Look at all that. Wait for these guys to spawn. What is that racket? Oh no, it doesn't consume it. Sorry. Okay, it seems like I cannot build a farm. Can, however, build a turret for no good reason. Ah! Let's have some upgrades. It needs DNA. I can melt some of this crap down for some DNA. Can you craft in this then? Oh, you need a lot of uh, DNA in order to do that. 400 DNA, and I get like 30 and 50 for these. Great. Got some killing to do then. This is finished producing. I'll queue up some more guys in case these guys die, which I'm guessing will happen fairly soon. Shield! Hello there. Hello, Poppet. Can I equip the shield then? Equip. Oh. Strength in numbers, boys. Strength in numbers. I've got to say, this is a pretty basic RTS. Oh. I'm sure. At least they've got an attack move option, which is pretty good. Move to the altar. Mm, anything else this worker can do? Primal intelligence. Your forces are under attack. What? <laughs> okay. Too late, mate. I got to the ritual, uh, the thingy. Oh, and some more guys have spawned. Are they my guys? Are they already there? What in Sam Hill's going on? Pizza. Oh dear. God, this game's as edgy as it gets, isn't it? My guys are still under attack. Oh dear. Look at all these units. These guys are tough and they're expecting me to kill them all with these tiny little bugs. Okay. More fruit. I have more buyers over here. Look at these turrets. They're just like pitcher plants. Awesome. Oh, can you not? What? I'm confused. Do I have a limit of how many uh, legions I can make? Yeah, apparently so. Wait for these guys to finish, as ever. Come on. Let me just build a, a second barracks just so I can build stuff quicker. I'll let them. Considering it's no longer letting me build anything, that's uh, perhaps not the best course of action. So how do I upgrade my units? I'm do I oh, okay, I do need DNA. Do I DNA, man. I'll just dissolve the crappy fruit. <laughs> dissolve all unequipable items. Fair enough. <laughs> Life leech. 
I'm going to put that on this hunter unit. Equip. Huzzah. Great, okay. Let's motivate. ODST. Some gold and then like a shield thing. Can you set waypoints? Seems like they've got quite a pickup radius, so perhaps that's not necessary in this case. Seems like you can't set waypoints. That sucks. Destroy him and everything he cares about. Yeah, him too. It's nothing but a disgrace. This. There's a guy with a bow over here. Take him down. You know, I say this is a pretty basic RTS, but the thing is, RTS market's kind of dry um, lately. We're getting a few more things like Grey Goo and so on and so forth, but that was a couple of years ago, so... More RTSs is good. What is that thing? Waiting for someone to come. Secrets of this world indeed. Can we just go and ask? That's not harming anybody. <laughs> what, I'm going to slay it with this little rabble? Yeah, great idea. Consider I can't make any more units. Uh, can I build a forward barracks? Maybe I need more barrackses in order to... Uh, 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 uh. What? Oh, I'm not getting enough minerals. Okay, forget that then. Yeah. Have I used up the only mineral deposit? I wasted it on crappy turrets I don't really need. Oh dear. Ah! Minerals! Some delicious Cadbury's minerals are to be had. Give. It doesn't, there's no indicator that you've actually clicked on something and it's successfully carried out the order. It sort of groans a bit. Uh, but it doesn't, I would expect it to have a lot of an indicator that you've actually done something and it's worked. Oh god, there's two of them! I feel like this is a badly informed idea. I mean... There's no XP or anything, so I don't really have any need to kill these guys. But, oh well. It is done now. What's the point of all these flavoured items if you can just dissolve them? If, if literally the only thing to do with them is dissolve them, then... Why not just give me some DNA straight up, you know? Man, my nose is blocked. Look at that thing! Alright, big shot. Get this party started. A <laughs> hundred duck sized horses versus a single horse sized duck. And thus far, I. Oh, look at that! I'm doing. I'm actually doing a decent amount of damage. But considering it seems to have an area of effect attack, that's not gonna last. It's also pretty loud. What's that? Oh god! It just dropped bombs on itself. Great. No audio for them either. Uh. Oh god, run! Flee! My little men, flee! Alright. Put up a last stand. Be glorious. Some bizarre sound effects. Good. Does he regenerate health? Is there any penalty for me losing all my guys? Short answer, nope. Long answer, no. Ah, I've got enough rocks and minerals. Great. I'm going to build a forward barracks. Hoping I can do this thing. Yes. It is a thing that can be done by me. 
There is nobody left in category one. I'm going to set the old rally to be over there. <coughs> I apologise for my roughness. Uh, yeah, it was over here somewhere, wasn't it? Dee 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 dee. Queue up some more boys. The stream is still working, that's incredible. Blimey. Get on with it! Uh, I'm going to build another Hive Queen just because that's the kind of man I am. Have we run out of food now? Are we... Oh, we're still gathering food from this fish pond. How much food is left in there? Mm. Not enough. So what happens if I run out of food? Is that it? Do I lose... What? What actually am I supposed to do if I run out of food? Hmm. Oh, I've got another ring. Okay. What was the shield? 35% to block 2 damage. That sounds not entirely useful. But, you know, I'll go with it. It's fine. Don't need you. Just need these boys. Oh, do I... Oh, is it because that guy died? And therefore I get the item back. That seems a bit too easy. Hmm. Oh well. It's fine. Let's just go and do some more damage to this guy. I'm really hoping I can take him out. I don't want to look like an idiot on stream. Any more so than usual. Oh god! Move, move, move! I had a bottle of water in my hand. I couldn't move him quick enough. Oh, that's great. So I can't move anywhere because all the other places are blocked. Hello, boss battle this. Hmm. Hang on, if I go over here, can he, can he get through? Ha! No, oh, no, he can get through. Can he get through here? Yeah, yeah, he can kind of clip through the wall. Great. Oh, hell. Well, now look, he's going to destroy my barracks that I've worked so hard to create. No, worker, no! Oh, hell. Take him down, worker. You got this. Great. Great! Did I get them items back? Yeah, I did. Awesome. Hmm. That's a bit unfair that he can clip through this wall. This game's supposed to be out of early access, guys. Come on. And since this is like the first, like the tutorial mission, I should have infinite food. Or at least a way. There should be a way of making infinite food! <laughs> Simple as. How much attack have you got? You've got 10 attack with no defense. Hmm. Uh, produce hunters. It seems a bit pointless laying an egg when I can just make them here. I was say, the creatures are quite nicely designed. They've used some, um, I think I can see a little influence from Ernest Haeckel's and, and his, um, what's that book called where he did all the illustrations of, like, the sea creatures and that. Oh, it's such a brilliant book. Oh god, they're going towards the rally point, right? <laughs> 
Move, guys, move. Let's just send them straight to attack. Why not? Come on! Oh god, move! 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 It's nearly dead. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, 29, 20, 19, 9, 4, it's dead! The beast hath been slain! And we have been given a good. I do not have that many units. Propaganda at work, anybody. That thing's jumping about like no, like it's going out of style. What do you mean? Ah, uh, achievement unlocked. Hey dear. Play again? No way. Hmm. I can't really say I'm too impressed by this game. Not at its current state, anyway. Yada yada yada. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm having a hard time recommending this just because um, it is really basic. You could get the very same game if you had played a classic RTS from days gone by. In fact, you could get m much, much more if you did so. Go and play Red Alert, for example. It's got very similar gameplay to this. <laughs> like, I, like I said, we do need more RTSs, and it would help to have a lot of people making RTSs, and then there'll be some competition, and people say, no, oh, well, well, maybe we can try this, and maybe we can try that. And this is good for the industry, but it's not really a very good game unfortunately. Not from this first mission anyway. And if you can't really draw me in in the first mission then you know you're not onto a winner. Gotta say the art, the like the design of it is very, very nice. Does look, graphically it looks like it should have been made five years ago but I can lay it off for that. It's made by a small team. So you know. And it is an RTS. You don't really need massive graphical fidelity with this sort of thing. And I have got NT alias enough. So, I can forgive it a little bit for that. Um, it's just the actual game itself is lacking, unfortunately. Hmm, should I play the rest of this mission? I mean, that first mission was long, man. Also, this, this control thing isn't... I'm clicking on the map and it's not quite going where I want it to. And man, my nose is blocked. Don't know whether you can tell. <laughs> I don't know whether you can tell. Oh dear. I might load up a different game. Just because I've got a lot of games that I want to stream. But then again, there's nobody watching, so you know, I might as well save them <laughs> for another time. Hmm. I'm going to go back to the main menu and see if there's a. Uh, there's an. Oh, there's no skirmish mode. That sucks. I'll turn on all these things. Don't tell me it's got to restart. No, it's not. That thing in the background does seem to be on tier list. Continue. Act. There's ten levels. There's ten levels and no skirmish mode. That is a bit disappointing. And like I say, this uh, this game is out of early access now. So that is um, unfortunate that it doesn't include all this stuff. It should really do, because it's an RTS. <laughs> Where's your longevity after you've beaten them 10 levels, then what? Oh dear. 
Well, I've only been on for like 40 minutes. I feel like I should have more to show you, but uh, tragically, it's not the case. I might just quit and see if we've got any more games that we can play. Because I don't really fancy another game of that. It was kind of slow. And uh, I doubt you want to see me mess about with a flipping RTS where I don't entirely know what I'm doing. Uh, put that on. Oh god, remove that. I really need to have a separate thing of this where it doesn't say what, what music's playing, but there you go. It's fine. I used to have a thing where it was holding a floppy disk, it was a thing from the Amiga, and I seem to have lost that file. But oh well. Now I've got this category on um, Steam of games that I've got from various places, bundles and uh, free games on uh, Indie Gala and stuff like that. And they're all games that look kind of crap, <laughs> and they've got mixed to negative reviews, or they're just games that I... Like, I have no idea what they are and can't really be bothered categorising them because I'll just forget that they're there. So I've done bundled them all into this one category. And I've got a ton of games in here. I haven't got more games in there than I have in my strategy category, but uh, there you go. In fact, I'm probably about equal. Uh, so, now I've got to pick one to play. I've got a bunch installed, so I might as well go with one that I've got installed, eh? How about Bit Blaster XL? Yeah. Funky. Hang on. I'm gonna set up the uh, thingy. Bit Blaster XL. Yeah, man. L Live Die Retrap. Man, this is white. Oh, God. Okay. It's expecting a controller. Do I want to put a controller in? I'll put a controller in if you want. Uh, suddenly, while I grab my cable. Is this the right cable? No, that's my USB Type C cable. They both look the same. Ugh. Got so many micro USB cables, but they're all incredibly short for some reason. Ugh. Oh god, it's sticking out back in there. Not allowed to be taken out of context, folks. I'm sure you knew that already. Plug ye cable in. Yeah. I hope this works, just plugging it in on the fly. Sometimes it doesn't. Stick that in there. Oh, it's buzzed. Excellent. Yay, it works. Vibrate on, yeah. Oh, vibrate actually works. It doesn't often work. There's a lot of graphics options. This game looks 2D. It does look kind of like it was made in Game Maker, which yeah, is not a bad thing. Ship select, eh? Oh, this looks like a kind of arcade game. Uh, all the ships look way too similar. What the hell is that thing? And I can tell already that this uh, audio is coming from BFXR. Auto fire? Auto fire? Uh, well, considering I do not know the controls, we'll just leave it on. To everything, turn, turn, turn. <laughs> My nose is again blocked. I should probably change which game I'm playing on Twitch because it still says the hive. But that would require me to alt tab, and uh, you know, I really can't be bothered right now. Booster break, okay. Oh, what? What? Whoa, 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 okay. Oh, it's asteroids then. God damn it. I'm making an Asteroids game. Don't want to look like I'm ripping this thing off. Well, mine's a little bit better than this. <clears throat> Mine isn't done, so I'm not going to mention it at all. Oh, they didn't really try hard in the graphics department, did they? Oh, oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> I really don't want to mention my game, because it seems like I'm advertising my own content, and that's frowned upon on the internet. I just picked up that power up and it was almost identical to a power up that I've got in my game. But having said that, it's also very similar to many power ups you would get in classic shooters anyway, so you know. There's a shield and it kind of sucks. Bouncy! 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 Oh god, it splits up. Ah! 
This is tricky. This thing doesn't stop. Oh, no, you can break, can't you? Oh, right, that's what that bar at the bottom is. Oh. What are these pl Oh, you got ammo? What a con! I suppose it is, uh... Ooh, I got another gun which looks the same as the other one. Pew, pew, pew. So, auto-fire, but you've also got ammo. That's nice, isn't it? Bang. S. <clears throat> S for... Shield balls. God damn it. The shield balls that don't blow up when you hit something. Oh. Whee! I just acquired a thingy. What is, what is all this stuff? There's just things flying around. Coins? Gold coins? In space? Are you mad? Are you bloody mad, mate? Oh god, what is that thing? This is reminding me a little bit of uh, Pew Pew on Android, which is a pretty awesome game. Okay, this, uh, I think we've reached the plateau of what this game can offer us already. It's not exactly asteroids, but then what is? Let's face it. This is just a basic weapon, but faster. So can you crash into the side? I mean, it does look like you can because the bullets stop at the side. Oh god. Oh god! Is there any way to get your shield back after that? I mean, you can get a shield ball. Which is what I'm referring to it as. Come on. Well, that's useful, isn't it? Whee! Yeah, the shield balls aren't like the one from Jazz Jack Rabbit. No, they, they weren't balls, were they? They were um, shield diamonds. H. Homing bomb. Yes. Ow! God damn, this game's tough. I'll give it a couple more tries and then we'll move on to something else. <laughs> I would prefer auto fire not to be on actually. I'll turn that off. Back. Oh. Oh, so I can get new ships. Shoot is X. Fair enough. What's the difference with this ship? It turns a bit faster. And it's got different music. Oh god, this one's really hard to aim. And the firing's got such a cooldown on it that you can't just spam and hope. Which is uh, my modus operandi when it comes to this sort of thing. Fire! Fire! Do, 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 do. Ah! I don't like this ship very much. It's, it's not really that different. It's kind of smaller. I don't know whether the hitbox is any smaller. Uh, I don't know whether it's got the bullet hell system or whether it's got the everything else system. No, for magnet. I get you. Can I not fire my gun? Fire your shooty, sir. So what happens if you run out of ammo? Then you, are you screwed? Then. T. T for Doctor Who. No. I'm gonna go back to the other ship. I prefer that one. This one costs ten coins. That one looks like a, a outhouse, doesn't it? Oh, hang on. There were stats for each ship. Fantastic, okay. Hmm. Yes, nice uh, BFXR audio. Beautiful, we like it. BFXR is awesome. I'm not knocking people who use BFXR. Use it! Use it! To as much as you like. Don't let me stop you. Oh god, you can smash into the sides, okay. Uh, I do note that some of the scaling is a little bit off. For example, the text at the top is, is blurred and it doesn't look right at all. It doesn't fit thematically with everything else. Uh, the stars in the background are kind of the same, but I can excuse that because, like I said, they are in the background. Super Grenade! Oh, that's right, I should play some Metal Slug. Oh, that would be beautiful. Play that all the way through on stream. Oh, man. Be even better if I could play Metal Slug 6. 
on stream because wow, that is a game. I haven't played it in ages as well. Just because it's you can't emulate it, and the only other way to play it is either to play the genuine arcade board, which I mean, <laughs> good luck with that, sunshine. And the only other way is to play it on the Metal Slug Anthology, which is very difficult to get hold of these days. You can get it on PS2 and Wii. I used to have it on... I actually had it on PS2, and then I gave it to a friend, and then got it on the Wii, and then got rid of it. So, so you know, I, bet I was a bit stupid back in those days. A bit more stupid, should I say. Oh, you constantly lose ammo with this thing, the shield ball. Uh, but you can just ram into everything, which is a nice bonus. So, is there no way to regain the shield? Whee! You can just kind of charge into stuff. What's this laser? Oh. Oh, wow! That thing eats ammo like nothing else. Okay, one more go. One more go, because this is pretty addictive. I mean, of course it is, it's an arcade game. And arcade games are meant to be, uh, you die a lot and you keep trying. D. What was the T again? I don't know, because I crashed. Alright, last go, last go. The shield thing has, has space for more blobs, so I'm assuming you can get more shield. Just uh, haven't seen much evidence of that thus far. Alright, T. What the hell is T? This is like Aquanoid. Oh, it's like, is it T for tears through things? Because that's not very useful, is it? Ah, okay. Okay. If you had fun playing Bit Blaster XL, please make sure to leave a brief Steam review and share it with your friends and family. I'm just learning to make games in my spare time, so all feedback is invaluable to me. Dude, you rock. That game was cool. I like it. Let's load up a different game. Uh, put that back on. I'm going to hide this stuff because, cause, you know. There's no point in seeing the music that's playing if it's not playing, am I right? I'll just change the thing on Twitch as well, because I know exactly what we're going to be playing next. Oh, we're getting through a lot of games tonight, aren't we? I'm going to be stopping it around midnight, by the way. If I fancy keep keeping going after that, then, you know, that would be fun. I think we should go back to a classic see how far we can get. Oh yeah, heavy typing. Um, I suppose I better play this in a window just because I feel like it's... Uh, whatever, it's, it's, it'll probably still work, won't it? Uh, oh, that's the emulator's one. Uh, yeah, dust box. That's what we want. And it's already capturing dust box. Excellent! Uh, is it already capturing dust box? Dust box, please. I don't like it. <laughs> Game capture. Bear with me while I get this stupid screen stream working. Capture specific window, please. DOS box. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. And <laughs> stretched. Oh no, that's no. Fit to screen. I always forget what these things do. Awesome. Okay, it's kind of blurry, but we can rectify that. It's supposed to not be blurry now. All right, you've probably already guessed what we're playing if you've been with the channel for a long time, or if you were were into freeway games back in the old DOS days. It's possible. Ready for this? Cheesy. Oh yeah. Cheesy. Cheesy invaders. They're still very blurry, but who the hell cares? It's a DOS game. It's supposed to look like that. If you play it in a CRT, it'll blur. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. I'm, I'm wrong about that. I apologise deeply and sincerely. I'm sure I've set it up so it doesn't blur, but, you know, that's how these things go. So, flipping cheesy invaders, guys. I thought I'd just uh, launch it up because it's awesome. 
This is one of my absolute favourite games. And I've played that many games that are just great that it's difficult to know what my list of absolute favourite games is. They're just all sort of in a pile. Um, <laughs> figuratively speaking, of course. Why is this one of my absolute favourite games? Partly because of nostalgia, I've got to admit. Um, my dad always had this on a floppy disk and for some reason it was at my granddad's house as well. Don't know how the hell he got hold of it, because I don't think my dad gave it to him. And um, on my granddad's computer it was on like a separate hard drive. There's a bit of a story behind that, I'll go into that afterwards, but uh, yeah, the other reason is just because it's flipping... It's such a good version of Space Invaders and it's free and it's so tough and you can just play it. Like it's just, it's it's the perfect pick up and play sort of game. It's similar to my thoughts on Activision's 3D Space Invaders from 1999, I've covered that before and um, I actually recently played the PlayStation version and I recorded it. Didn't work so well in the emulator. I wanted to play it on real hardware but A, I don't have the disc and B, that's not exactly working out at the moment. You gotta let that guy talk. So on my granddad's computer, it had this extra hard drive. Un under my computer, it had an. I'm assuming it's an extra hard drive, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it was called Cus2, C U S2, and it was just a folder with this game as well as Megapede. Oh no, sorry, no. Um, it didn't have Megapede and Streezy Invaders in it at all. I do know that he had this on his computer at some stage, but no, in the Cus 2 folder, stroke drive, there was Aquanoid, which I've played on the um, channel before, and there was Crusher Castle, which I think I've played, but I can't quite remember. That's an old solo software game, which is awesome. And that's flipping tough as well. Uh, my mum used to play it actually, she she quite enjoyed Crusher, Ca Crusher Castle. It was Crusher Castle 2 specifically, there are two different games. Uh, quite different. But this this strange Cus 2 drive wasn't exclusive to my granddad's computer because I remember my dad having a computer around at our house and there was a Cus 2 drive on that and he deleted it. Which was made me kind of sad, but... <laughs> I've, I've looked up this thing before and it, I've no idea what it was. I don't think my dad would have done it because he's not that smart. Um, no, that, I, I'm, he used to be very good with computers but he's since lost it, which is unfortunate because uh, he's always asking me how to do the most basic stuff that I thought he knew. God damn it. And it just upsets me. He actually did a uh, Pascal course many years ago. But uh, <laughs> good luck if you... Uh, Getting to remember any of that. Pascal's kind of useless anyway, let's face it. So, yeah, cost two. It took me forever, actually, to realise that this level is based on asteroids. I don't know why it took me so long, but it did. Also, everything gets really tough to hit from this point onwards. Just because you've got these tiny little rotten tooth bullets. And everything gets smaller and smaller, and like the hitboxes change, and of course everything gets really, really fast after this point. Like you'll notice everything gets really quick. See and look, they're zooming around like nobody's business. It's not a bit smooth either. So you kind of got to get them to slow the hell down. They don't move nearly as far as they do in the original Space Invaders. Um, so it's getting kind of tense. I'm running out of lives. Sorry, ships. Doing pretty well though. This is a probably um <laughs> the best I've done on Pack It or Die. Yeah, I've played this game a lot over the years. It's a shame. Uh, the developer was actually making. The next version of this, I think they're making two point oh god look at that how tiny this crap is. Um Yeah, they were working on version one point eight of this maybe? Oh no not point eight, sorry. And they were preparing to release one and shortly after that they just sort of disappeared. 
A uh, bloke's called Jeff Anderson, by the way. Finding any information whatsoever about him is tough, to say the least. And you, you may note that at the beginning, when you actually start the game up, it does say, oh, you can register this game. And I don't know whether it had any added benefits, but man, how rare must this be to have an actual registered copy of Cheesy Invaders? But it's rarer than a copy. Whoa! All right, I've never seen this level before. My God, the bullets are really fast. This is the furthest I've ever got. Cheesy Invaders up there. How much are they firing? The graphics are a bit terrible on this level. Look at them all. Uh, I don't think Jeff Anderson liked squids very much because at the end of Megapede it comes up saying this is a squid free game. Might come up at the end of this game as well. This is going so well. This is the furthest I've ever got on this game. Oh no. Oh. Do I get to keep going if I defeat this level? Okay, well that explains what the the registered version gives you. I thought you couldn't destroy that planet then, but... Oh god. That was that horrible death noise. That I really dislike. It's just a guy screaming into a mic, isn't it? Can I... No! Ah, oh, my bubble was burst. Whew. Okay. <laughs> register for more. No, I so wish I could register this game. That would be awesome. Have an actual physical copy of the registered copy of Cheese Invaders. No one is safe. The safe shall die. Awesome. Do, 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 do. Yes, thank you for that. Oh. <sighs> I just slapped my chair. Don't know whether you heard that. Probably. Uh, go back to loading the next game. Because we are kind of loading the next game. Just wondering what else I should play while on the stream. Let's go back into the category, shall we? I'm going to move this bit blaster game to action. Because what happens is, if I... Uh, find that a game in this category is good, then it gets ascended to an actual useful category. If not, then I just delete it from my account. Burst. What the hell is that? It looks like a guy with a hula hoop. I don't remember getting half these games. I do remember getting Crash Time 2. That sucks. Alright, what about Glacier 3 The Meltdown? I've been meaning to play this one. I must point out that there weren't a Glacier 1 and 2. Oh god. I hope this game survives alt tab because I need to in order to um, set OBS up to pick it up again. And I do know there's an automated way of doing it, I just haven't had a chance to try it yet and make sure it works. Bear with me while I uh, plug my controller in again. Well, let's find out right now if it survives alt tabbing. Uh, it's made oh, it's running into like 800 by 600 or some nonsense all right games we don't want bit blaster we want game.exe yeah <laughs> it has stopped working it crashed so it didn't survive alt tapping right okay let's let's try that again i'm actually going to go offline on steam as well because it's going to look a bit weird me playing all these crap games Alright, I'm keeping an eye on my phone just to see if this is actually working properly. I do have to change the resolution at some stage. Blue Moon or Red Owl? Great logo, great logo and that, that is definitely something that my uh, tutor should see. Oh dear, please, please tell me it works with a controller. This is a racing- WHAT?! God. Okay, there's no window mode. There's no way to change the resolution. 
I've got to transform it and fit it to screen. Oh god, and it's gonna oh Didn't didn't crash that time. Great. <laughs> right, well I'll unplug my controller because that is useless in this game. <sighs> I am not looking forward to this. So we've got a racing game that you can only play with the keyboard. Challenges, eh? A ramp jump. Check out this music, eh? Story mode. Edge mountain up. Jump to one. <sighs> Edge mountain down. Frozen lands up. Frozen lands down. Malevolent hills up. Malevolent hills down. Six levels. Right. I did just pick that one. Okay, which... Wow. A strong triple cannon for a real fast... Well, alright. I did. I mean, I did want to read that. Muscle car by nature, yeah, GG. Even though it's, it's man-made. Uh, so this is... Um, it's got a bit of a... Interstate 76 vibe about it. Let's go with that one to start with. Oh, we get to choose our colour. Oh, we don't want to be racing with a blue car on an ice themed game, do we? I'm gonna go with red. Bow of bow of snow, bow of snow. Um, I think you meant B O U G H. Wow, look at these names of Lady Vladislav, Anton Karim, Vanessa Alexa. Let us continue this game. You're not going to show me the controls, you're just going to dumb Mr. 18. Hey dear. I'm pretty sure there was no help screen. At least the game's running in 60 FPS. Eh? Well, that makes a damn difference. Uh, what? Oh, wow! How close is this car? Oh dear. Oh god, this game's. Oh god! This is awful already. Uh, first of all, how do I change the view? Because uh, how do I fire? I'm trying every key. Control is to do this boost that seems to last forever. Oh dear, physics are uh, all over the place. How the hell do I fire my weapon? It's not tab. It's not shift. Is it? God forbid it be left click. No way. Oh dear, I just landed on some mines. You need. Th Ow. Does, do I have health? Yeah, I do. It's, it's like on my speedo. Yeah, it'd be nice to see if, if where I was going, but. Oh, space fires these missiles. Okay. I mean, I've still no idea how to fire my gun that my car comes with, but you know. Apparently, that's on a need to know basis. I don't really know where I'm going either. Oh, there we go. That explains it. Oh god, that game is awful. <laughs> oh god. That game stinks, man. Oh, so it's like a little circuit. This is worse than Tank Racer, and that's saying something. Because we all know... <laughs> I mean, Tank Racer's bad just because you literally cannot win that game. But at least it feels almost good to play. This... <sighs> Almost making me feel motion sick just as how close the camera is to the car. This is dreadful, I right? Get out of the way. And the physics are just all over the place, man. It's alright, I can catch up with his jabonis. I just use my boost. Huzzah! The Twitch thing still says I'm playing the hive, I think. Oh god, where am I going? <laughs> oh god. Oh god, okay, the, the hive seems like a flipping masterpiece compared to this. Ah! Wow. What the hell? My doors! No! Oh god, what happened there? What is going on? What the heck is happening? Oh! God. The physics! Oh! Right, okay. I think you'll notice that in that previous race there was no map on the map. It was just a load of arrows. 
Hmm. All this, all this game does is make me want to play Carmageddon. God, check out this trashy music, eh? Go. Wow, look at all this flickering as well. And why the hell are they so far ahead of me already? I feel like I've been conned. Right, how do I place these things? Alright, shift to place mines. What else could it possibly be to fire these weapons? Oh, what? The end of the race is right there. No, that's just a checkpoint. Okay. Do I have to drive up here? Yes. Uh, once again, there's no track. Oh, it's alt! It's alt! Wow, when was the last time you played a game that used alt as a, as a control, eh? Dear, oh dear. What did the blue ones do? Well, now I'm really far ahead, so I don't really need to worry about firing anything. Why is it snowing inside? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God, they're so far. Why are the mines? Even though I'm the... Oh, I've won. Hooray. God. This game sucks ass. I like how it's got two loading screens before you actually get into the game. Sorry, the race. Oh, well now what? Oh, that's fair, isn't it? So previously we started in a line and now we're starting in a grid. How come these goons are going so much faster than me? Oh, well now I know how to shoot. I can shoot them all down. Oh. I'm really not sure what's going on at any given point. Can he only hold 100 bullets then? Great. We Die. Blah, 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 blah. Am I hitting him? Oh, wow. Impostering. <laughs> Sorry, LOD, that's what I call it. Impostering is only in Halo Reach. Is this thing, like, auto-tracking? Because it's doing a very poor job of leading them. And that's kind of what I need. There's no indication that it's actually make, like hitting its mark. Oh, his doors are... Oh, there we go. He's dead as a coffin now. Oh, God! It's also very difficult to tell where the end of the line is. I've caught up with you, sucker. Now what? Oh. Is that it? Too bad. Yeah. Credits. Who made this game? Blue Moon Red Owl, I ask you. Oh, so it actually had a proper publisher and a proper developer. This many people worked on the game? Quality Assurance. They had one guy on Quality Assurance and he just said, The Earth is good game. It's good game. Ugh. Shut up. That was just that game stank like a wet fart. Delete local content. Thank you very much. How much was that game actually? I'm gonna see how much it is full price. Ugh. Mostly negative. Only mostly negative. This is seven quid, man. <laughs> this uh, this review is uh, quite entertaining. Oh yeah, it doesn't even have any trading cards either. Well, that sucks. And yeah, there is no Glacier 1 or 2. There's just Glacier 3. Oh, that's by the same people who made Flat Out 3. You know, the one that sucks. Alright, well that is getting hidden. Thank you very much. What else have we got installed? Got time for a few more. I'm going to just change the thing on Twitch so it doesn't say... Oh, hang on. There we go. I probably need like a visualization or something rather than just this static screen. I should change 
the thing. Random games. Please choose a supported game. Well, I'm not about getting a game at all. One. <laughs> Great. Okay. <laughs> so, what's next? Neon Space Ultra. That looks interesting. Give that a go. Neon Space Ultra. Is it going to... Oh, wow! Oh, God. Good start. Hang on. Game.exe. Once again. No? Don't, don't fancy capturing it? No. Now you can hear the music, but it's just not capturing the game. Game capture. Yes. Capture specific window, please. Game.exe. Game.exe. That one. No, this game really does not want to be picked up by OBS whatsoever. I'm going to have to, uh, like, set up a cheeky little window capture instead, aren't I? Window capture, yep. Oh, there we go, it's working now. We'll turn off capture. Transform. Fit to screen. As you can see, this game is square. It's also got a really crap frame rate. And yeah, I know there was a full screen button. I missed it. For many years, the galaxy enslaved by evil and numerous race of slams. Is that like slavs? To this day, no one dared to resist them, but soon everything will change. That's supposed to be a person there. This music is... This music's got to be very loud because I've got this... I've got my audio on my headset really far down. Oh man, you can see. I'm sure it's not... Surely it's not supposed to run this badly. 13 life, eh? Well, I'm sucking all sorts of arse because it's running like a a snail riding a tortoise. It really is. Also, the hitboxes are very generous indeed. And they've only got one music track. You know, I'm not overly impressed by this game. Aesthetically, it looks great. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, did I get a homing missile or what? Aesthetically, it's fantastic, but it's just... Why is it running like a... a piece of junk. Oh dear. No, I can't really keep playing this, can I? Yeah. Does it work better if I put it in full screen? No, is the resounding answer to that. No, I think we'll have to pass on that one, unfortunately. Maybe it's because it's recording, who knows. Pardon me while I need to sneeze. Uh. <laughs> or maybe not. What else have we got? Megatech looks like one, like a game that takes a little while to actually get into. Um, Survivor Squad. Uh, yeah, again, that looks like one that takes a little while to get into. I've got a load, but I can't really be bothered installing any. Tell you what, let's just install, let's just play something that I've already got on the system. Uh, what can we play that'll work? <laughs> That's a big question. We're going to look at a lot of the games we can play. Whether they'll work is another question entirely. Hmm. Let's not play Brave Dwarves 2. Had enough of that on a permanent basis, thank you very much. What Dune on here? Uh, 
Oh wow, I've got some crappy Flash games. <laughs> no. Uh, actually, no, these aren't that crap. <laughs> these are some of the better Flash games that I've downloaded back in 2007. Oh, but man. I used to have hundreds of Flash games and 90% of them were just garbage. Honestly. I'm sure I've got some really bad games on here. I can't think well they are. Oh, Hyperman, yeah, I've got that. Awesome. Jack in the Dark. Jazz. Oh, we could play some jazz. No, I need, I need to have a special stream for jazz. I need to make sure people are watching that one as well. Oh, Manic, Manic Miner, eh? Have we got Manic Miner for Windows and Manic Miner PC? Could play a bit of Manic Miner. I guess. I feel like that needs a special one as well, though. I need a special, um... Specky stream or something. Mugen, I've not got that set up. God. I should really plan these things, shouldn't I? Oh, we could play some pop cap games. Yeah, let's play a bit of dynamite. Is that in puzzle? So it is. Yeah, we'll have a bit of dynamite. I do believe it uh, survives the old alt tab as well. Games. We want Dynamite Deluxe. Uh, what? Oh, great. <laughs> it's, um, first of all, it's made my OBS window really tiny. It's also made every other window really tiny because it, it's it's an old game. It runs... Oh god, I hate it when this happens with old games and they're running really tiny resolution and then they just uh, make everything small. Uh, right, are you gonna start up this time? Come on. Don't let me down, Dynamite. You're letting me down. Presumably if I like... Oh god, it's made it tiny again. Right. <laughs> this is going great. Okay. Oh. Oh app already running. What? Dynamite Deluxe, please work. Alright, I'm just going to leave it on the the this screen for just a moment uh, while I check that it's working. I think it takes about 20 seconds for the stream to catch up with what I'm actually doing. Doesn't seem to be working. It'd be so useful if I had a second monitor just to check that OBS was working on it. It's gonna have to be a window capture I think. Can I run it in window? Oh I can! I can run it in window mode. Excellent! That makes life so much easier. Of course it's a tiny little window. Yep, it's gonna have to be another window capture. Just because it's it's not an EXE that's running, it's a TMP file. Which is a little bit odd, but you know. It's just one of those things in it. So I'm guessing if I put it in full screen now it's just gonna break, so I'm just gonna start a new game. We want an endless puzzle, thank you very much. Dynamite is a little bit like Frozen Bubble while well, game similar to that. In fact, it basically is Frozen Bubble or games similar to that. It's just got a bit more personality. Not that Frozen Bubble doesn't have personality, it's just got... It's like it's got a little bit more... Gameplay to it. And also, you can't switch what colour you're about to fire. Or maybe you can, I just don't know how to do it. No. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I seem to remember you can, but maybe I'm thinking of Frozen Bubble. And it's got some pretty awesome music. This is a proper, this is a classic PopCat game before 
Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare and all that nonsense. This is what PopCat used to make and it was awesome. They were the kings of casual games. They made such classics as... Bookworm. Um, what were the other ones? Atomica. Atomica is such a great game and it is impossible to find unless you pirate it. When Whirly comes along he drops a new colour into the board. Which is great, thank you Whirly, we love your input. Ooh, what's this now? What did I get? I've never done this before, it just blows everything up. Awesome! Explosions are cool. Yeah, I'll play Atomica another time, because that rocks. Maybe I'll even play it tonight, because, uh, I mean, once again, you've kind of seen all that there is to see of this game, but... It's just awesome, so go and buy it, it's like four quid on Steam. Oh man, having a boxed copy of this game would be sweet. PopCap used to distribute the games on, what is it, Real Arcade as well. Oh yeah, we all know how awesome Real Arcade is. Go and watch my uh, video on Tex Atomic Big Spot, Big, Tex Atomic Big Spot Battle, in you know, order to find out just how amazing Real Arcade was. Great. There's no way I can find this red one! Fortunately, there was a big green area there. There is a uh, puzzle mode where you've got to clear the whole board. You can't actually do that in this because obviously it's it's going down constantly. What is that thing? Is that an actual egg colour or, or what? This game's a bit morbid actually because uh, once the eggs get to the bottom, you get squished by a giant dinosaur foot. I don't know what she's got against you, but... Yeah, here she comes. Nope, I managed to salvage it. For some reason, she makes a... Uh, this mama that we're talking about, by the way. Um, who's the big dinosaur that squishes you, for whatever reason. Um, Makes a T-Rex noise from Jurassic Park, of course. Uh, I think I've lost this, you know. I'm not amazing at these sorts of games. I'm not amazing at... There she is. And there goes Whirly just to suck at it. They rub it all in. It's just got a reading egg sucker there. Alright. I suppose I could do a different kind of puzzle. Let's do a fossil challenge, because why not? Essentially, what you got to do is you got to break the fossil out of the thing. And if we just had some green eggs, then that would make this so much easier. But unfortunately, we don't. I don't know the names of all the dinosaurs. I know... This guy, I think he's called Inchi or something stupid like that. Oh, that was another awesome pop cap game. Um, Insan Aquarium. Which had another character I'm pretty sure was called Inchi. They reused a lot of names. Yeah, Insan Aquarium is an absolute classic. Uh, it's a shame we don't get this sort of casual game anymore. I mean, try and find a decent... Um, pardon me. Try and find a decent... Frozen Bubble-esque game. I'm not sure what these games are called. Like, what genre it is. Try and find a decent one of these that's not full of microtransactions. I mean, just finding a game on Android in the Play Store that's got an endless mode, that's difficult enough. You've got um, Bejeweled 3 on Android, which is just awesome. Well, it's kind of a mix between Bejeweled 2 and 3. Uh, and that's great to have. But they've kind of filled that with microtransactions now. Because what used to happen was um, there was a there was a um, the free version that you could have. Oh come on, dude! There was a free version that you could have, and that was free, and you could play it for as long as you wanted, and yada yada. yada. But you had to put up with ads. You could pay to remove the ads, which was a few quid, and that was fair enough, you know. So that removed all the ads, except recently they've um, made it so even if you've paid, you still have to view ads in the, um, what is it game? Uh, the Diamond Mine minigame, which if you've played, uh, gives you a set amount of time to get, clear as many sort of boards as you can of gems. If you haven't played Bejeweled before, well, come on, what the hell are you doing? 
Man, I am rambling so much, aren't I? That's what I'm good at. I had another point to make and I can't remember what it was. Oh yeah! That's, I was going to say that most casual games that you find on the Play Store, etc. They're just terrible, terrible match 3 games. Candy Crush being the obvious example. Uh, why is Candy Crush terrible? I mean, it's just a match 3 game, surely. I've seen people playing it and there's no endless mode. What? Why? That's that's your longevity. But well, people play it, obviously. Um, and if you haven't played it, get yourself lucky. But also, um, the reason why the microtransactions are such a big thing in that game is because you get a set amount of goes. At e You've got to clear the board essentially, uh, as as far as I understand that is. Because you know I haven't played it at all. I've just observed other people playing it. So you got to clear the board, and you get a set number of goers in which to do it. And if you fail, um, I think you have to like pay to get another chance at it, or you like got to wait 24 hours or something. I guess. I mean, that's got to be in there, surely. And uh, yeah, that's quite frankly ridiculous. Well, it's just get bit you old. It's better. It's better. Uh, Anyway, yeah, PopCap, casual games, they were the masters, and this, they pretty much stopped making them because, you know, they're making Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. I suppose it makes them more money than this, and I suppose they are owned by EA, so they've got to do what they tell them to do. But, you know, it just makes me miss this these old days, uh, early to mid-2000s, shareware, and, oh, uh, this was a classic era. I guess not many people will have uh, grown up with it as, as much either because, uh, well, people of my generation, uh, very few people are as interested in games as I am to the extent that they would download Real Arcade. Uh, at least, as far as I'm aware, literally nobody that I'd spoke to. <laughs> I'm, it's not a huge demographic, I know, but um, like there was the consoles people played on PS2, man, myself included, but I just wanted more games. Real arcade, man. So, I, and I guess if more people used it, then it would still be going today. But uh, obviously, not many people used it at all. And what was the point I was making? I can't remember anymore because I'm just rambling about real arcade again and uh, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. So the this sort of era of gaming uh, not a lot of people will sort of have experience of it which is a shame so this is only really me that gets nostalgic for this crap but, uh, that's the point I'm making <laughs> man I'm still playing this man I'm gonna exit and uh, start up a different game let's play some insane aquarium oh man steam's tiny bigly steam I love Insane Aquarium, where is it? Have I even got it installed? I've not got it installed, man! Ugh, oh, what am I like? Oh, it's only... It's 80 megabytes! Insane Aquarium is awesome. And I'll just have a quick bash at it, and then we'll finish up for the night. Is it... is it... Hello? Are you going to finish? Hello. Yeah, there we go. It's in, it's it's finished installing. Great. Pop cafe. What happened to them? Oh yeah. Okay, it looks like crap. Oh god. I don't have a saved game anymore. Hardware accelerations on. Custom cursor is full screen off. Because apparently these things don't work if uh, don't have in full screen. Oh, this is not executable now. <laughs> Still not flipping working. Well, there we go. In San Aquarium, everybody. This kind of sucks. I've not got my saved game that I'd like 
tons of cool stuff on it. Oh well. Uh, I guess we'll do. Oh, whoa. time trial. I guess we're gonna start adventure then, <laughs> on the most basic of levels. Yeah, I know. I know what I'm doing. This has pretty cool music as well. So essentially, the idea is you gotta feed your fish. You do end up getting carpal tunnel near the end of the game because you just gotta keep clicking constantly. And yes, I've got quite far in this game. The fish cost a hundred dollars in this world, by the way, but they drop money, so you know it's a good investment. And yeah, you got to feed the fish. Now, I mentioned clicking constantly. You don't actually have to click that much to feed them later on in the game. You just have to sort of click now and then because uh, they take less food the bigger they get. And there's certain fish that don't really require food. And the clicking comes from something that we will uh, come on to in a second. Now you may have seen it if you were reading the help screen. Like a naughty person. Just gotta keep gathering the coins. It's been like an early clicker, this, in a way. But better. And once you get enough money, you buy an egg piece. And when you get to the full egg, it hatches. Which is <laughs> defies all logic, but you know, there you go. I think it's just egg pieces on this and feeding the fish. This was originally a browser game, and it was very simple, it was it was pretty much just a clicker at that point. And this is a, a bit of a clicker with um, uh, progression. Oh, there we go. Finish the egg. Awesome. And we get the snail, who does make an appearance in Plants vs Zombies as well. He, uh, both, both incarnations gather coins for you. And you do the same again. There we go, on this level you meet your first alien opponent. My throat is aching. These fish... They're like diabetic or something, they have to eat... so often. I'm pretty sure that's not what diabetes means, but who cares? Oh crap! Yeah, I forgot food costs money. It costs five dollars to drop a single pellet. <laughs> yes, and here comes the uh, incessant clicking bit. Die! There you go. <laughs> that doesn't get any easier, by the way. There we go, you can upgrade your food. First you can upgrade it to a roll of uh, AstroTurf. And then you upgrade it to like a pill. Which is a bit creepy, isn't it? And and yeah, the, uh, the food... Better food you get, the more sustained it keeps the fish. And the fa I think the faster they grow as well with the better food. And this other option lets you drop more food at once, so you can see I can only drop one pellet at a time. That's creepy, isn't it? Why is the food a flipping drug? But once I get some more money, I will be able to drop two at once. And yeah, you can hold the mouse button down when you get more rare food quantity. Which is just great, I'm going to buy another fish, just because. That's the sort of man I am. So the the actual feeding isn't isn't clickerish. It's it's not too bad. It's the shooting of the aliens. And yeah, that that hint I forgot about that. You can kind of maneuver the alien around if you uh, shoot it in certain places. I believe later on you can get automatic weapons. Don't quote me on that. And we'll probably play this another time. This is, this is just a fun game to relax with. I've got so many fun games to relax with. It just depends what the mood you're in. <laughs> Let's drop some more food at once. 
so much dough. I'm gonna let Stinky the Stinking Snail collect some money. Earn his keep. Because I gotta feed the fish still. And uh, actually, there's too much gold coming down for him to actually collect sensibly. But there you go. And I'm not gonna buy any more upgrades, I'm just gonna acquire the egg pieces. I think the number there is the next tier. Yeah. Because I can only drop four at once at the moment. One, two, three, four. Yep. It doesn't make much sense, does it, that you have to buy bits of an egg that will then hatch and thus break into bits. I hate it when they sit at the bottom of the tank because it doesn't give you any time to gather the coin. Oh, that's alright, I'm skip the alien by uh, buying the egg. It's fine. Nico the oyster takes it forever to, to produce a, a pearl. And he's always asked if he wants to go bowling. So I hear. You gonna let me buy another fish? I think it doesn't let you upgrade anything until one of the fish grows up. This is entertaining, isn't it? I bet. <laughs> Watching me play a flipping fish game. Hey, there's our pearl. It's, it's actually not worth very much when you compare it to the loot from later fish. Buy loads of fish. I may have first shot myself in the foot there. If you don't feed a fish in time, it dies. And it uh, makes a weird noise and floats to the bottom of the pool. The tank. <laughs> it's weird seeing two curses on the screen because I've got OBS in the background. Give me my coin. I'm just going to buy tons of fish. The alien is probably going to eat some of my fish. Die. You see, the diamond isn't actually worth as much as the pearl. So the diamond's a bit worthless later on as well. Because, uh, spoiler alert, but you can get fish that hatch diamonds. I mean, lay diamonds, I mean, poop diamonds. Whatever. I wish I could have a fish that pooped coins. That would make life so much easier. Hey, dear. Give me the monies. Should I just fill the tank with fish? I should probably buy some better food. Oh, no! The fish has died! Eat the damn food, you stupid fish. Yeah, you too. <laughs> yeah, this is why the food quantity button exists. I think you can have up to ten at once. Well, I mean, you can get it up to level ten. Oh, the carnivore, yeah, I forgot about him. Yeah, he dines on guppies. And he drops diamonds, I think. If you've played Plants vs Zombies, by the way, you'll know that there is a like a Zen Garden mode, uh, whereby you can just keep plants that you've collected from Crazy Dave and friends. There's a similar mode in this. Uh, it's just a fish tank, and you can keep various fish inside, and it's pretty cute because it's pretty cute. Because <laughs> you can keep all your pets and stuff, and you can keep um, you can like buy multicolored fish and stuff for your tank and it's it's quite cool and there's lots of rare fish and things and they cost a lot of money can't remember how to get money exactly but uh, I'm sure I'll find out gather ye coin I will require I will acquire sorry the carnivore carnivore doesn't eat big guppies he just eats little ones so it costs a hundred pound a pop to feed him but he does stay fed for quite a while and yeah he poops out diamonds wasn't that pleasant eh Yeah, this is so. This is such a clicker game. 
I never realised until now. I've just... Yeah, it is ten at once. So you just rapid fire the uh, food. I've got to be careful that I don't... Right. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, the weapon upgrades just look stupid as well. Like, you've got all these beautifully... These pre-rendered graphics look amazing. And you know I'm a fan of pre-rendered graphics, and these ones are, are really nice. They've got a beautiful, stylized look about them. Uh, so when you've got these crappy weapon upgrade icons, I mean, look at them. They just look, what is that thing? How the hell do you hold that? Look at that handle. Oh, God, I've got to feed the carnivore. Give me the monies. But the more you upgrade your weapon, the uh, quicker you can kill the baddies. I'm going to the carnivore actually. Just uh, to add to my expenses somewhat. Devours it in one. It's gruesome that. Phew, really not a whole lot more I can say about this game. I could probably be doing it a ton more efficiently, but you know. Eat, my friends. I do appreciate that they go green when they need feeding, because otherwise, I would never know. Uh, it does take quite a while between them going green and them dying, by the way. I do appreciate that the weapon like projectile changes the more you upgrade it. I don't know why I'm constantly clicking for these food pellets when I could just be holding it down. Maybe it's because I'm stupid. Let's buy a couple of egg pieces, thank you. Buy a couple of guppies for the carnivores. It is quite monstrous, that, isn't it? For the sake of extra money, you're buying a guppy and, and giving it a good home, only to have it eaten by a carnivore just because you want some cash. Right, we'll see this pet and then I'll leave it there for tonight. Itchy, not inchy. Ah, close enough. <sighs> right. Virtual tank, that's it. Let's quickly show you this. Why the hell not? Oh god, yeah, the virtual tank screensaver. I forgot about that. You can earn shells in every game mode. I think you get shells when you complete a tank. It like has a little mini game where you can collect them. Right. And here's the fish that you can get. This selection changes every day. And what you can do is <laughs> you can cheekily like um You can change like the date on your computer, and if you missed one, then you can sort that, that you wanted. Then you can go along and collect more shells, and then just go back to that date and buy the fish that you want. I like how it says choose from a array of colours, despite the fact that you can't choose. You have to take what you can get. Oh yeah, and I think this slot is for very special fish. Like, this one goes invisible. Uh, and it changes every day, like I say. It's very interesting. And yeah, it's a screensaver as well, which is just awesome. And you can add your pets to the tank as well. I think you can add up to three. Alien attractor. Oh yeah, and the fish drop shells in this tank as well, which is sweet. I might add some actually. Well, no, I'll I'll wait until I've got some more shells. Get some nice coloured fish, because you know I've got class. <sighs> I should have this open for me. Um, what is it? Me between games little visualization thing, shouldn't I? Build it up a bit. Oh, that'd be ace. Anyway, that's all for now. <sighs> I don't think anybody watched this stream. 
But if you did, and my numbers are wrong, then thank you very much. And if you're watching the VOD, give me that. If you're watching the VOD on the YouTubes, then thank you for watching that as well, because I appreciate it. And I, <laughs> if you've managed to stick around during all the rambling, then I'm very surprised. <sighs> okay, that's two hours of me going on about crap. I think it's time to end it. Bye-bye.